Now, I will just illustrate what can be done with uh, control sources. As I said, there are models for uh, more complicated circuits, but uh, here I will just show you that some other elements that we know can be synthesized using control sources okay, or their values can be altered and so on. Now, let us consider a resistor. We know that the voltage across the resistor and the current through the resistor are related by Ohm's law okay, and the constant of proportionality is the resistance. Now, let us consider this picture where a voltage V is applied to the resistor and that causes a current I equals V by R or V times G. Okay. Now, if we think of this picture, we think of the voltage resulting in a current or the voltage controlling the current. Okay. We have already discussed a control source which accomplishes this function that is controlling a current using a voltage that is a voltage controlled current source. Okay. So, what happens in that case, if we take a voltage controlled current source, there is a certain voltage V x and let me define this to be G m times V x. So, what it says is, if I apply What it says is, if I apply a voltage V here, a current G m times V will flow over there. Okay. What does a resistor do? If a V is applied across it, it draws a current I, which is V by V times G from the voltage source itself. And that scenario can be easily arranged in this picture, right? This G m times V, I could have connected this to any circuit. Now I will choose to connect it. back to my circuit. Okay. So, what happens? This G m times V will flow here and it will actually flow from this voltage source. Okay. So, the current flowing out of the voltage source is G m times V. Okay. Now, if you consider the circuit within this boundary that is between these two terminals, what do you see as far as this voltage source is concerned when it is connected to this particular circuit, it draws a current G m times V that is it draws a current proportional to the voltage. So, from those two terminals you cannot distinguish this from a resistor. Okay. So, this entire circuit inside here is equivalent to a resistor and its conductance is given by G m, which is the proportionality constant of the voltage control current source or equivalently its resistance is given by 1 by G m. Okay. So, what do we have here really? We have a voltage controlled current source and the controlled current is connected back to the controlling terminals. Okay. So, we end up with a two terminal element, there are only these two terminals and between these terminals, there is a linear relationship between current and voltage. That is because of the linearity of the control source. Okay. So, this entire uh, arrangement just looks like a resistor. right? So, you can take a control source and synthesize a resistor from it. Okay? So, if you th think of a resistor, it has two terminals and there is a relationship between the voltage across those two terminals and the current flowing through the terminals. If you look at a voltage control current source, 
the controlling voltage and the control current are at two different pairs of terminals, but we can always connect them together to form a resistor. Okay, so this is something useful to remember that a voltage control current source connected back on itself behaves like a resistor, and you can find the resistance value. Now, as some of you would have guessed already, we could also use the other picture. That is, we can think of a resistor as responding to a current I to produce a voltage V equals I R across it. Okay, so now if we think of this picture with uh, control sources, we need a current controlled voltage source. Okay, there is a certain current I X. this will produce a voltage which is rm times ix between these terminals okay now what do i want to realize a resistor let's say i have a current i i must sense this current that is i must place this controlling branch in series with this so i will show it like this this is ix and this is the controlling branch and this current must flow through that and i want the voltage between these two to be proportional to the current Okay, and here I have the voltage between these two points to be proportional to the current I X. Okay, so what do I do? I just place the controlled branch in series with this whole thing. Okay. Now this uh, schematic looks unnecessarily complicated, but that uh, shows the thought process, right? I sense the current, and then I have this voltage which is proportional to the current. So I place it in series with this branch, which is a short circuit, so that across these two terminals, now I have a voltage which is R M times I X, which is equal to I. Okay, so clearly. Like before, if I look at this equivalent two-terminal element, okay, so it will look like a resistor, and the value of the resistance is R M. Okay, so you can use a current-controlled voltage source also to synthesize a resistor. Okay. so this uh, you will find useful later when you are able to implement uh, control sources using active elements like transistors you will be able to realize a variety of functions okay which may not be uh, physically uh, possible very easily but you will be able to do this okay i'll show uh, one example of it soon but there'll be lots of examples where you can uh, uh, realize exotic vi characteristics using control sources now this schematic looks very complicated the way i would normally draw it is simply show a controlled voltage source whose value is rm times ix and i label ix here so obviously if i drive this with a current i across this i'll have rm times ix okay now just as one example of exotic stuff that is not possible with physical elements but which you can realize using control sources is this we already saw that 
connecting a voltage controlled current source like this that is V x G m times V x realizes a conductance equal to G m or a resistance which is 1 by G m between these two terminals. Let me call this A and B, it will look like a resistor. Okay. Now, one thing is that a physical resistor is constrained to have a positive resistance, Okay, that is it always dissipates power, we will look at those aspects later. Whereas, a resistance synthesized using control sources can equally well be negative. Okay. negative resistance and in this particular arrangement we need g m to be less than 0. In that case it realizes a negative resistance. So, another way to think about it is that let us say you had a controlled source g m prime times v x and g m prime happened to be more than 0. Okay. Still, we can realize a negative resistance. All we have to do is to connect this here and this over there. Okay. Then, if I connect a voltage source V, a current G m times V will flow there, a current G m times V will flow there. So, we can see that the current direction is like this, if you trace it around the circuit, where this g m prime is a positive number. Okay. So, that corresponds to a negative resistance. If you have a positive resistance and a positive voltage V, what it means is that the current will flow in this direction. Okay. Now, if this resistance is smaller than 0, that is if the resistance is negative, then the current will flow in that direction. Okay, The current in that direction will be positive. It will push the current back into the voltage source and that is what a negative resistance does. Okay, So, that is one example of exotic things that can be synthesized using control sources.